now to move into our special call meeting. So moved, yes. So moved. Okay. Second. Okay. Right, we'll call that meeting to order. That meeting is to uh, discuss a revenue bond financing by the Industrial Authority. Mr. Gutman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Members of the Commission's Board, I appreciate you allowing us to come today. This is uh, in regard to a 2006 bond that the Authority uh, issued on October the 2nd, 2006. A resolution was authorized and approved for $2,800,000. It was specifically for um, the. It was a specifically for the Langdale Hospice House project. Uh, this was done. It was built. The, the funds were used. Uh, the, the particular bond was a Bank of America bond that was sold to First State Bank, and uh, it, it was a. It was issued through 2027. The problem was that in the document of the initial bond, there was not a paragraph that basically allowed the holder of the bond to extend the payments through 2027 as it usually is. So all we're asking to do, we've done the validation, we've gone to the Superior Court and done the validation, we've run the ads, we've had a TEFRA hearing, which is a public hearing, to give any citizens the right to come and object to this extension. It's not, it's not new bonds, it's, it's just an extension of the existing bond to allow First State Bank, Sonovus Bank actually now, uh, the right to, to pay these bonds through 2027. Any questions? Do we have any questions for Mr. Gutman? Will this increase our indebtedness? Yes. Yes. This doesn't raise an interest rate, this isn't refinancing the yes. bonds, this is merely um, taking action so that we can extend current payments. And, 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 and most, almost all of the economic development bonds, the county, the city, nor the authority have any liability in regard to those payments. And in this case, the extension of the bond does not create any liability on behalf of the county or on behalf of the industrial bond. I've spoken to the hospital, they, they are, uh, they approve this, they would like this to continue on. The Hospice House is a standalone organization up under the umbrella of the South Florida Medical Center. And this is something that they have requested through the Industrial Authority to continue on. I was under the impression it had met its maturity. Uh, does that mean it's, it's when, it, when it has met its maturity, that term means it's been paid in full or what? The, the maturity was actually 27. The payment schedule was actually like the end of 2013. So it's just to coordinate what the bond said initially. But the maturity is 2027. I was under the same impression because the notes we have in front of us is a resolution to approve the extension of maturity of revenue. But we're not trying to, are we, are we trying to approve an extension of maturity or approve extension of payments? Well, it's the same thing. It, okay. The maturity tracks the payment. That was the problem with payment and the maturity did not court was not coordinated in the initial bond. Do we need a motion to approve? Yes. So then okay, we have a motion to approve. We have a second. I'll second. We have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the vote. All in favor signify by aye. 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 Any opposed like sign? Unanimous. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thanks. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. second.